You see, each year, the people of Israel would gather around the Day of Atonement. So the priests would take the blood of the Lord's goat into the Holy of Holies, past the veil, past the curtain, which separated the people from the presence of God. They would put the blood of this goat onto the mercy seat and apply it. They would then walk out of the Holy of Holies and they would declare and confess all the sins of Israel in that moment. So then the priest would lay his hands on the other goat, the scapegoat, and release it into the wilderness, symbolically symbolizing the taking away of the sins of Israel. This happened year after year after year after year after year until Jesus. You see, when Jesus died on the cross, he shed his blood. And then when he rose again and conquered death, hell, and the grave and walked out of that tomb, he was carrying our sin away. And what this means is when Jesus died, the veil, this 90 foot curtain that uh, separated us from the presence of God, it was torn into two. And now because of this, we now have access to Jesus, which means we can have a relationship with the living God because he's not dead, because the veil is torn. Now we can have access to him because now we are made righteousness in his sight only because of Jesus and what he did for us. Because God loves you so much, he sent his only son. We are believing him would not perish but have everlasting life because he loves you so much. That is why. He loves you even just as you are. You don't have to have everything perfect. You don't have to have everything together. <laughs> that is good news for me, y'all. <laughs> I don't have to be perfect because underneath Jesus' blood, I am made righteous. Underneath Jesus' blood, you also are made righteous as you confess your sins to him. He is faithful and just to forgive.